Hey everybody, this is Ian O'Byrne again. We're taking a look at another tool that I use pretty regularly in my workflow, and that's uh, Google Spreadsheets, or now it's being called Google Sheets. Once again, one of the challenges that we have is that Google frequently changes up the names of the different tools. One thing to keep in mind is that it's basically a spreadsheet. It's uh, you know uh, what we would expect from Microsoft Excel. So one of the powers that that I love in Google Sheets is that just like Google Docs and, and slides and some of the other tools, you can create materials that are cloud based. That means you can get to them uh, through any device. You can get to them through your browser. I can also pull out my tablet or my smartphone and I can access my spreadsheets. Uh, the other side of the coin is that you can collaborate and that can be a very powerful tool uh, as you work with these materials. So if I'm in Google Drive, once again, I can search for Google Sheets or Google Spreadsheets. The easiest way for me to get to things is to go to drive.google.com. Um, and then I make sure that I, you know, sign in. I can see that I'm signed in now with my main account. I also have Google Sheets through my institution, but I'm just going to focus on my main account for now. If you have a Google account, it's easy enough to get signed in. If you don't have one, um, you can either sign in and get a free Google account, or if you have Gmail or Google Calendar, then you already have a Google account that you can sign in and use. So if you sign in, you go to drive.google.com, you can see all of the different uh, docs that you have already saved there to create a new spreadsheet. And you can download, uh, you can upload an Excel spreadsheet and convert it over to a Google Sheet it's getting better and better uh, at how it formats this, but I always feel like it's much easier to start off with a brand new spreadsheet or a new Google sheet um, when you're starting off a new material. So if I go to new, I'm going to go down to sheets. I'm just going to click on it. It's going to open up a new Google sheet for me. Um, once again, this is exactly the same sort of format and interface you would expect from Excel and from the Microsoft Office products. It's also the same sort of format that you're going to see when you use Google Docs and Google Slides and all the other tools. So once you know how to get around one uh, interface, it's pretty easy to figure out how to get around another. So I can go in, I can title this, you know, whatever I want to call it. So I'll call it Test Spreadsheet. It's going to save it. It'll let me know when I've made changes to this. I can change where I want to save this to. Um, what I can also do is I can look down and see all the typical, you know, file, edit, view, insert, formatting. Um, the, I can sort the columns. So it, Google Sheets is becoming more and more powerful um, and getting closer and closer to Excel. I know there's a lot of people out there that use Excel and they're ninjas at using Excel. Um, I am not. I can muddle around and I can make things happen in Excel. Um, but if I want to use more data, I go to other tools instead of Excel. But I know that there's a number of people that use Excel pretty in a sophisticated manner um, and you use formulas and stuff like that. The use of formulas and the Excel formulas in Google Sheets is getting better. Um, I would still be a bit wary as I use this if you are a very sophisticated user of Excel, but your your uh, results may vary. But if you look through this, it's a lot of the same things that you would expect to see in Excel, a lot of the same um, elements that you would want, um, the different formatting, different ways to move your data around, different ways to sort your data. Um, so there's a lot of, of power built into it. So as we work our way through this, you can see, you know, there's the ability to add some functions and formulas. I can, you know, have my individual cells. I can modify this um, as I see fit. So that, you know, I mean, it's a typical spreadsheet. Uh, one of the other things, you know, as I mentioned before, one of the powers of this is that you can get to this through the cloud. You can get to this through your devices. So that's one of the powerful things that I like the ability to um, get to my data across devices and have ubiquitous access to my data. The other power behind spreadsheets and Google Sheets is that I can share and collaborate. So if I go into the share button, once again, I usually skip over this dialog box. I go right to advanced. 
for the most part, when I share materials, I'm either in, in spreadsheets, it, when I'm sharing materials here, I'm either sharing this content so that I can edit this with other people, or I want other people just to view the materials. And then in, in subsequent videos, I'll show how I use uh, sheets in a sophisticated capacity, or at least for me. So what I'll typically do here is when I change this, I'll invite specific people. So I might, you know, I might want to invite my buddy Greg and we're working on some data for a research project. I can go in and I can allow him to edit and I'll add a message and I'll say, hey, uh, you know, let's use this for let for data. If I could type. So I can send him a note and I can basically allow him to edit this piece. If I want to send the spreadsheet out and I want to share data from this research project openly so that other people can take a look at it, or let's say I'm sharing materials with students, um, I can just go into change and I can either make anyone with the link can view or comment or public on the web view or comment. Um, for the most part, if I want people to edit in sheets, I will give them specific uh, capabilities through that email address so that only they can edit um, because most times when I'm putting materials into a spreadsheet it's materials that I don't really want to be edited or changed or modified uh, depending on the use cases so this is Google Sheets um, you know a variety of uses for it some ways that I've recently used it uh, I was uh, working on a research project with a couple grad students and we we're trying to I wanted to have one place to save pseudonyms for uh, participants in the study. So I put my grad assistants on it and we started to list out names. We wanted to have one place so that in the publication when we changed the names of individuals, when we changed the names of participants, we were sure to not mess up the naming of participants throughout the document because it could be it can get confusing as you list someone's name and then modify their name for later on so I wanted to have one spreadsheet just a way to cross check and make sure that everything was where it needed to be another way that we've used uh, Google Sheets recently is we had a uh, conference at my institution and so we had a lot of people that were signing in and going to different rooms and we wanted to have one easy way to share locations and room numbers and who would sign up for what rooms so we basically put together a spreadsheet uh, this was shared out as view only and it gave people a way to very quickly as we're as we're working between rooms you could quickly go to like the conference hashtag or you could go to the website for the conference click on a link on mobile devices, tablets, you know, computers, and you could very quickly just see, okay, what room am I supposed to go to um, as you got lost? And this was very helpful for me because I got lost about four times a day. So I could easily click in and say, oh, I signed up for the, you know, classroom pedagogy and connecting str the strengths quest um, in the math lab. So it was helpful for me to pull out my device and instantly search and figure out on the page, okay, where am I supposed to be and get there. Um, one of the, the last ways that I've been using uh, Google Sheets is that I've noticed that in my institution, I'm uh, chair of the RNPD committee. And so one of the challenges that we have is we have this long convoluted process where someone will ask for funds to go travel. Um, the, the initial request comes to me as the chair of the committee. I approve it. Then it gets forwarded to my office manager. The office manager holds it until you actually travel. Then when you're reimbursed for travel, it comes back to the office manager. The office manager processes it and all of that works well. But if you decide to apply for more funds, then all of a sudden I have to sort of like go back to the well and talk to the office manager and figure out, okay, what did you ask for? So in the end, I have a spreadsheet that I'm saving all of this, all of this information. And my office manager has a completely different spreadsheet. And so we were talking, I'm like, why do we have two different spreadsheets? It would make more sense if we had one Google sheet and I could add information when it first came in. And then you did not need to re add that information later. And then later on, if I want to double check, I can go in and see up to the minute, up to the second, what people have spent. So this year, we're just going to use one Google Sheet as opposed to, you know, I was using Google Sheets 
a cloud-based tool on my in my browser to save all of this information so I could share it with my department but then at the same time she was using Excel and she was that Excel file was on her computer um, you know and backed up but it was on her computer so now by using one Google Sheet we can both work on the same document and then one of the other things we like to do is we like to open this spreadsheet up to the faculty and say here you can take a look at all of the information that we have across the department and be much more transparent in what we're spending, where we're spending it, and sort of what we have track of. Because one thing is, if you're traveling and you're spending money, you want to know, okay, I have an opportunity to travel again. Do I have more money that I can spend? How much have I spent up to this point in the year? It would be much easier to just go into the spreadsheet and see exactly what you have processed up to that point. Um, so that's only made available if we can sort of spread, you know, share one spreadsheet uh, between, you know, all the parties at base. So my office manager and I, we edit that, but then at some point we're going to make that viewable so that everybody in the department can take a look at it. So once again, this is Google Sheets. It's a powerful tool. It's an Excel clone or, you know, an alternative to Excel. I use it for a lot of my work. You can use it for databases. You can use it for storing, you know, information or storing data. You can use it for sharing out information in a, in a different manner or a different format than you would in Google Docs. Um, it's a valuable tool in my arsenal, um, and in subsequent videos, I'll show how I use it in a more sophisticated capacity, especially with Google Forms. Thanks a lot.